Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Tabansu. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, debates, entertainment. And we'll give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have a hilarious episode for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Tabansu. My handle is C T A B A N Z. If you want to follow the channel on Instagram, it's the same name of the channel, Dreamers Pro. Uh, and if you want today's full show uh, before it comes out on YouTube, it's streaming for free on our Dreamers Pro podcast that we have pinned below in the comment section. Let me let me get it. Let me get into this story. Oh my God, man! These days, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in sports media these days and the sports in general. So, as you guys know, um, the in season tournament just recently uh, concluded, right? And we had the Lakers win the tournament. Subsequently, after that, a lot of people in media, a lot of well, not, I want to say a lot of Laker fans, some Laker fans. A lot of LeBron fans tried to make it into this big thing, right? We produced shows about it. People were online talking about, wow, you know, LeBron finally has his fifth championship ring and five MVPs at 39. Amazing. And we we're like, when did he win his fifth? When did he win his fifth ring? When did he win his fifth MVP? Like, none of those things happened. Last time we checked, an NBC, uh, MVP is for a regular season, right? When you For an 82 game, not no play-in tournament that lasts seven games, right? So people are trying to make it a big thing. Uh, we laughed at it. A lot of people laughed at it. In fact, a lot of people were pissed off that, you know, people were trying to make it into this big thing. But I get the NBA was trying to sell it, a new product, uh, whatever. Then we got the other news that the Lakers announced that they were going to be hanging uh, this in-season tournament banner. And a lot of us almost fell out of our chairs. Like, wait, the Lakers said what? The Lakers are going to do what? Excuse me? And, you know, a lot of people were trying to defend it like, oh, you know, no, 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 no. You got to understand. It's a moment. It's a moment. And so, so so what happened? Uh, yesterday, I was going through the Internet and I came across um, an episode from the, what is it? The Dan Patrick show. And the special guest was Charles Barkley. Now, if you guys know anything about Charles Barkley, you know, Charles Barkley going to keep it real regardless of this. He's he going to say what he thinks. So Dan Patrick was talking to Charles Barkley about a range of things. And then it gets to the part where he asked Charles Barkley to weigh in on the Lakers deciding to hang uh, the the play, uh, the in-season tournament banner. And when Charles got the news, man, he just started basically, you know, making fun of the Lakers and people that would even want, would even consider doing something like that. But before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by a sponsor. Uh, aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who's the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Charles Barkley had to say as he clowned uh, the Lakers and LeBron fans who thought that this would be a good idea to do that. So take a listen to what Charles Barkley had to say here. Uh, and then we're going to come back and react to his comment. Take a listen to that. How much do you celebrate winning the in-season tournament if you're the Lakers? Are you, Dan, are you serious right now? <laughs> are you serious right now? They're going to raise a banner, Charles. Are you serious right yeah, now? No. Now, if you're the Pacers, I said you do a parade, you do a banner in the ceiling, any reason to celebrate. You you do in-season rings, 
for the Pacers if you win against the Lakers. But Dan, the- let me <laughs> let me tell you something. If the Pacers do an end season parade, I'm going to Indy for that. Okay. No, we don't. You know, it, it was a resounding success. Yeah. Uh, I, everybody's really happy with the end season tournament, but we're not raising banners. We're not doing parades. They were doing champagne with goggles, Charles. You know, <laughs> I'm so glad that I wasn't watching. Uh, I'm so glad that I wasn't watching Saturday night. If I saw them doing champagne for the end season tournament, yeah. I could say it was a resounding success. <laughs> but if the late, uh, you don't do you don't do champagne for the end season tournament. I'm glad I did not see that. I'm so really glad I didn't see that. And then people on social media said, uh, hey, Jordan never won an in-season tournament, and LeBron has. And I went, he didn't play in an in-season tournament. But how important would an in-season tournament have been to Jordan? Well, I think, all first of all, you just want to win the games. I don't think it would have been uh, – listen – I think it would have been a better story personally if the Pacers had a one because sure. it was a it was a really coming out party for Therese Halliburton. He was fabulous, unbelievable. He seemed like a great kid, also. Uh, but the Lakers, they're the Lakers. There's two teams in the NBA that championship or bust matter to. The Lakers and the Celtics are the gold standard. Uh, you can throw the Bulls in there a little bit and the Spurs, but if you're the Lakers or the Celtics, only thing matter is the board championship. And listen, like I say, it was a great success. But the in season tournament, I I really the Lakers better not have a put up an in season. I think tournament. they are. That listen, man, if they do that, I'm gonna roast their ass on TV. <laughs> you know we're gonna have to talk about it. If they put that in season tournament banner up, Dan, I'm gonna roast them on television. So you heard what Charles Barkley had to say. Now, um, I said on a post on the community section a few days ago that, you know, the Lakers have been doing a lot of weird stuff that I cannot kind of abide by. I used to be a Laker fan because Kobe Bryant really turned me into a Laker fan. He's the one that made me care uh, to be a Laker, to be quite honest with you. So I started following the team because of him. And then Lakers started, you know, Lakers started doing some stuff that I just wasn't feeling like they just they was on some other stuff that I wasn't feeling uh, after Kobe retired. And I heard some Laker fans like, you know, uh, you know, Kobe did what he did. But now we got to move on. I'm like, wait, 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 what? We talking about the same dude that helped bring five rings to this organization. We're going to forget about him because of what? Hold on. A bubble ring. Are you are, are, are you being serious? Like, that's what that's all it took. That's all it took, right? So I was like, nah, I'm not rocking with the Lakers. They own some of it. Uh, you know what I you know what I mean? Now some people, oh, you're not a real fan. I don't care. I don't care. I got standards, man. I'm not supporting the nonsense. Like I'm not. And funny enough, there's some Laker fans that don't abide by this. So I don't know what y'all on. Now there's still Laker fans and good for them, but I'm not just, I'm not that type of fan. Like players make me interested in the game. Like I'm not like, oh, go oh, because I'm born in Maryland. Uh, you know, oh, so I gotta support the Wizards. Nah. Oh, I grew up in New York. Oh, I gotta support the Knicks. Nah. Uh, it don't it don't work like that for me. But you can support however you want. So I came across a clip of the late Kobe talking about the fact that the Lakers were all about championships, man. We don't hang Western Conference banners and all of that stuff. We don't do that. We're all about hanging banners. We're not about the stats and all those other stuff. We're about championships. So for those of you who didn't hear Kobe Bryant say those words, I want to quickly play what Kobe had to say about that. And then we'll continue on with the show. This franchise does not hang division banners. (laughs) It does not hang conference championships. (laughs) We hang one banner and one banner only, and that's NBA titles. And you may not like it. You may think it sucks. You may think it's not great sportsmanship. Get over it. It is what it is. It's a city of champions for a reason. So that's what Kobe Bryant said. That's the standard I'm used to. Now, y'all, now the new, y'all on some other stuff, whatever. That's for y'all. We don't all have to vibe on the same level. Uh, but that's the stuff I was used to. And then I, I'm, I'm beginning to understand that you guys on some other stuff. So it is what it is. Um, you know, everybody has the right to support what they want to support. But I just thought it was hilarious that Charles Barkley, you know, was saying that these guys actually want to go up there and hang a banner. Uh, to me, to me, it's to me, it, it's quite funny. But I guess they're trying to find a way to legitimize this uh, this award. But, you know, that's his thought. So what I want to know from you guys is, number one, what do you think about what Charles Barkley had to say? Number two. 
do you like or dislike the idea of the Lakers hanging this in-season tournament banner? Uh, and ultimately, do you think it's a thing that other teams should do moving forward in terms of hanging it to follow suit and what the, to follow in the footsteps of what the Lakers did? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.